We're coming out on the river um, to look for litter along the Medway River with the Medway Swale Estuary Partnership. So we're catching a boat from Chatham Dockyard. So now I'm fully kitted up with my life jacket. Belinda Lem, Medway Swell Estuary Partnership today. What are we doing here? We are going to look for hot spots of litter along the Medway Estuary. Good, okay, excellent. And why are we doing this? Why do we care? So that we can stop it going into the sea and affecting our fish and collect it and arrange lots of litter picks. Excellent, excellent. Behind us we have a world-renowned expert on invasive species. <laughs> Thank you. And Jane, what are you, what are you, what are you here for today? Well, I'm an artist and I make lots of work to, around uh, the river, to do with the river, and I'm very interested in its conservation and uh, safe sustainability. Excellent, fantastic. to Rochester and they used to have people called the Hufflers who would wait either side of Rochester Bridge um, and then would row out when tall ships came to Rochester Bridge and they would dismantle all the sails for a fee and help the um, tall ships under Rochester Bridge and then um, re-erect all the um, masts and sails the other side. This is what we're looking for sadly, these big places where all the litter all the litter oh, accumulates and Belinda is, is well Belinda is trying to work her GPS mapping here it's not, it's not putting us on the river is it litter litter so here we've obviously got another houseboat yard and this was the one that I stayed at on the end of the first leg of my uh, book Feeling. It's the blue barge that I stayed on, although it was yellow at the time. Anyway, my friend Martin lives there, um, who very kindly put me up, even though I look like a drowned rat at the end of that day. Here we are, we're right by Rochester Bridge now. I'm not Rochester Bridge, sorry. Not Rochester Bridge, this is the um, this is the M2. M2. So one of the big problems um, is microplastics uh, where these things have just been broken up in and out the river, broken up in the currents to tiny, tiny fragments and one of the places that um, the um, Medway Swell Estuary Partnership worked on last year the beach was just horrifying. Not only was there thousands of plastic bottles um, washed up on that part of the river, but those bottles have broken down into millions and millions of little bits of microplastic um, that then are almost impossible to pick up. You need to sieve them out of the water. It's just it's demoralising when it gets that bad. Um, you just think this problem is just so awful. And of course, we're doing it off of bits that we can see but there's so much of this stuff in the river you know and on, on every river in the country and obviously really litter picking is raising awareness of the issue um, and obviously doing something to stop that litter getting back into the water but the real problem is obviously stopping this litter at source not just through ignorant people throwing their rubbish away but obviously the manufacturers you know not producing such disposable endless bits of plastic that can get bought up um, that can get thrown into the river and, and, and break down so down here is the creek where, um, if any of you have read my book on the marshes, um, it starts down on the edge of the water at this creek where there used to be a houseboat um, that um, belonged to a, a lady who was living up this creek all on her own. Um, and unfortunately, the houseboat um, was partially sunken a few years ago. But it's just this really hidden part of the river. Obviously, you can only you can get to it by land, but it's not easy. You kind of got to know where you're going. Potentially, we could turn here. 
Yeah, because Andrew's, Andrew's seeing what she wants at this time. I'm a sensible issue. I'm about the water. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. It's a bit of a lost creek. Can we not just go and have a look? Yeah, we're not, oh, we can't there. look. Oh, we're going. We're going back. Quite a lot of debris up this end. We won't ever know, I'm afraid, if it's still there, because we're not going well, down there. That but that is the creek, anyway, where the book yes. started. Yeah. Right. But I don't... It doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> we're all well wrapped up now against the cold, coming back down the river. Belinda, has this problem with litter, is it worse than you'd imagine down this part or not as bad? I think it's worse. Worse. Mm. Yeah, to see actually how much litter there is and how many cleans you have to do. Yes, so you, yes, there are quite a few litter picks to be done. What, um, sorry to put you on the spot there, what do you think ultimately is the solution to um, plastics in the river? Stop using plastic. Stop using plastic. <laughs> yes, yes. Particularly single use. Yes, and I think um, we need to go back to the 1950s. Well, not in everything, not no. in agriculture, but no, maybe yeah. with with in the packaging. use of yes, and reusing things, and yeah, Paper. yeah, not just continually buying new stuff. So less packaging by supermarkets. That is what I think. Definitely. Yes. But I think they, they're trying to implement that at the moment. But a bit slowly and only under public pressure. They could have been doing it years ago. Like Smarties. They went cardboard how many years ago? We got rid of our plastic lids in the 90s. Oh, so they were ahead of the trends. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, Smarties. Why not? You still find the Smartie lids yes. on the beach as if they've been dropped today. Yes. Uh, and things flush down the loo. That's one of the worst things as well, isn't it? Cotton buds. Why did they have to go plastic? They were used to be paper and now plastic. Back to paper now, hey, well done, Johnson Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Only in the European market. Though. Oh, yeah, so, so what about what about so they still export plastic on the market? Johnson Johnson, not good enough. Not good enough just because we put pressure on you in the Yanks don't. That doesn't give you an excuse to flush your plastic into American seas. There we go. So this has been a productive boat trip for you then? Yes. Despite the fact it's a bit cold. It's very cold. Yes. <laughs> I've got sunglasses yes. on. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Belinda.